Hello everyone, this is the Luminous Glow. Today we are going to be making a more advanced Photoshop background as we are going to add in some shadows and some gradient maps and lighting to make the characters really stand out uh, and or text. So uh, this will be the end result as you can see and we've got quite a few layers if I turn them all off for example. Uh, turn off all the editing layers off the original was this guy De Isaac from Dead Space 2 uh, what we are going to do is we're just going to add in a sort of cloud mystical clouds so that it looks more s you know less dull than just black uh, we're going to give him some lighting against his face where like his lights are to make them stand out a bit more. Uh, we're also going to highlight some areas to make them look brighter, uh, add in some text, darken some areas to make the light stand out more, add in, this doesn't do anything does it? Anyway, some gradient maps making it darker, and different, like make the ca colors stand out more. This is useless actually, so I'm just gonna take that out. Alright, and that is our final product. So uh, let's get starting. First of all, new dead space back ground. Uh, find out your pixel by pixel on your for your certain screen. Uh, it's probably going to be different to mine. If not, just use these numbers. You can find that out by clicking on properties while right-clicking on your background and or screen resolution, depending on what Windows operating system you have. Okay. So we've got this, fill it in with, oops, not yellow, sorry, fill it in with black, and get your person, find which person you want to use, make sure it's uh, a very good sort of one for this, for example, it has to have a lot of dark areas and bright areas, and lighting, so I found this guy, Isaac, is the best guy for the job. Just position him where you want. First let's add the clouds in. So we'll make a new layer. Also fill it in with black. Then go to filter, render, difference clouds. And we have these clouds. Okay. Uh, let's put them down to... 51%, 50%, and go to screen. Well, you don't have to, but I chose to. Okay, so now that we have this set up, we just have to add in the shadows and the lighting, as in this one, they have the lighting and the shadows. So let us do this get your brush tool uh, make a new layer above Isaac let's name him actually Isaac I don't know how it's spelt really just call it like that clouds and this will be the brightening of the light that's c emitting from his helmet and the back, so light imitating, no, the light emitting, okay. Alright, so you get your brush, make it a similar color to this, and just want to color over this part of his back, his face, helmet, I 
Okay, and when you're done, you want to put it as either soft light. Mm, yeah, soft light is good. So it makes him look like he's got a more of a glow there. All right. Now you want a new one. Name it brightening and you want a sort of very slight yellow okay and you just want to color in the places you want to brighten up so I'm coloring in here just going to color in a little bit here and there this face here and here I think that should do and that will also be a soft light. Doesn't look too good now. You can bring it down to 50% if you want to. Or maybe a screen. Nah, a soft light. You can see it makes some difference to his armor. Okay. Now on this one, we have the text here because the shadows go over the text a little as well. So let's do that. Let's add in some text really quickly. It's going to be enter the dark. I don't want it yellow, but anyway. Um, you should go to layer, layer style and play a lot with the blending options like bevel and boss and pattern overlays and gradient overlays just play around with them uh, until you get something you like for example I made myself this and I really like this, this really matches the theme of it uh, so I'm going to use that make a new layer, this will be the shadows and you want to have a black brush for this one and you just color in anything you want to darken here, that, uh, you darken this a little no, just darken this bit here we want to darken everything that we don't want to stand out maybe under here a little okay then we do the multiply. We put it on multiply and we'll have it at maybe 50%. So some shadows there. And we'll put over the text as well. Just give a little darkening to the text. Okay. Now we have to do is put in the gradient maps. So, gradient map number one, we want to make it darker to choose this one here, the third one, black and white, okay. And we want to choose multiply. It's too dark right now, so let's just bump it down to 50%. Yeah, 50%. Looks good. We add another one, gradient map. And this is going to be the same one, third one. So this time we're going to put luminosity. So, brings out the colors more. Gradient map number three will be this. Doesn't look so good now. However, we'll put it as soft light and we'll bump it down to about 35%. And then the last gradient map, gradient map number 4, or 5, yeah, 4, will be this purple to orange one, also soft light, and about. 25%, maybe a little less, 
Maybe we'll give number three a little bump down as well. Down to 20. There, that's looking really good. Uh, if you want to, you can add also a photo filter. If you want to cool it down, put a cooling filter on number 82. Uh, I didn't do this in the other one, but that looks much better now. Looks like a very cold, dark place rather than a warm one. That filter did kind of make a big difference. And it does look very good. So you can see it wasn't that hard to make this background. It just took a little bit more thought than just the simple background we made before. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, hopefully you can subscribe to my channel and see some more videos as well. I have two other Photoshop videos and I've al I also do gaming videos. So uh, thank you for watching my video and subscribe if you want to watch more. Bye.